Okay, knitters, have I got some fun for you today. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the Chinese Waitress cast on with two colors instead of just one. I'm getting ready to, I'm in the midst of redoing one of my um, Christmas stocking patterns, and so I was working on this yesterday, and I had to cast on with two different colors. And I thought, I love the Chinese Waitress cast on so much, I thought, I wonder if I can experiment and see if it, I can do it with two colors. And sure enough, it came out great. I'm really pleased with the way it came out. So I want to show it to you today. So to begin with, we're going to take both yarns, the two different colored yarns, and we're going to make a slip knot with both of them together. And then we're just going to slip that slip knot up onto the needle, and we're ready to go. Now when we're making our stitches, we're only doing one color at a time as we're casting on, so our uh, stitches are going to alternate in colors. So I'm going to begin with the lighter of the two, and I'm going to place my right hand needle on top of the yarn and underneath the left hand needle. Now if you haven't watched the video on the regular Chinese Waitress cast on, I would encourage you to do that first before you look at this one. So we're going to follow the same uh, pattern that we followed on the other one. So our yarn is going to come over the top of the left hand needle, around the right, and we're going to just pull that through. Pull up on that loop to adjust your tension, retract your right hand needle, and stick it back in the front door. Now, for our second color, we're going to pull the darker color up from underneath. We want, I want to make sure that I'm pulling it up from underneath the other color. This is going to go over the top of the left hand needle, around the right hand needle, and we're going to pull it all the way down and through that loop, the previous loop. Retract the needle, stick it back in the front door. And I find it's best to tighten this up just a little bit before I grab my next color. Always grab the new color from underneath the old color. I'm going to bring that over the top of the left, around the right, and we're going to bring it all the way down and through. Put the needle back in, tighten it up just a teeny bit, bring up the new color from underneath, and you're just going to work this this way all the way to the end. I was so excited that this worked out because I love the Chinese Waitress cast on. I use it now a, a lot. Oh, I gotta redo that. I really use it a lot. I just think it's a, a wonderful cast on. Um, the cast on I originally found in Cap Cease's book uh, called Cast On Bind Off. I think it's 121 ways to begin and end your work, something like that. I'm getting ahead of myself here talking too much. Bring that down through, retract, come back in, pull up the new yarn from underneath, and you really do get a really nice rhythm going very quickly. And I'm just going to finish up here, I'm just going to drop this up on here, and then we'll just take a look at the results, which I think are really, really fun. So, I hope you find a good application for this. I, I wanted to remind you too, when you're finished, go ahead and slide the original slip knot with both colors. Just slide it down the other end and knock that off the tip of the needle. That will not count in your count of stitches that you've uh, cast on. So, I hope this is fun for you. I hope you find some great applications for it. See you later.